不思議だす<笑>気を待ちうんまにうん、うん、<笑>夜の花見小路なんか歩いてるとなんていうのかなんか独特なあ祇園町にいるなって思いますマイコのマヤドス中学を卒業して15歳で祇園町に来ましたうちがマイコになったのはコロナが始まった時でしたマイコさんになってやっとスタートラインに立てた時に緊急事態宣言が出てしまってお仕事もできひんしお稽古もできひんしなんか夢あったんかなみたいな。ギオンズマジカルオーラオブソフィスティケイテッドエンターテインメントデイツバックトゥディエドピリオド。オーバーツリーセントリーズオブコルチャーケムクロスとサカミングトゥディパンデミック。なんかこう恐怖感がありますねなんかねすごくねほんまに業務は違う信じられへんほどの静かさなんです Most Ozashiki the gatherings at which Maiko and Geiko entertain were cancelled With little work to do some left Gion for good お商売もなく気持ちが折れてやめてしもたりとかもったいないと思うんやけどね新型コロナウイルスの新たな感染者です月曜日としてはこれまでで最も多くなっています Especially hard hit were young Maiko whose careers had just begun 痛い大丈夫、はい、痛いな痛い<笑> Amid all the uncertainty of the pandemic, they hold on to a dream of appearing in a special event. An annual dance festival that has now been cancelled twice. The Miyako Odori dates back over 150 years. It features a full cast of Geiko and Maiko. Performing for a month each spring. It is central to Gion's identity. マイコさんを引っ張っていけるのかなっていう不安とかもあります。The dazzling women of Gion uphold customs and traditions that have been passed down for centuries. さっさと喋ってとさっさとお風呂入って。はい。As Gion struggles to recover from the pandemic. We follow young Maiko on their path to spring and the Miyako Odori.
the Higashiyama district of Kyoto. This area of the ancient capital is home to Japan's largest traditional entertainment quarter, Gion. For over 300 years, Gion has entertained a select clientele with fine cuisine, music, and graceful dancing. Among the tiled roofs nestle 50 or so ochaya, traditional tea houses where around 90 geiko and maiko dedicate themselves to their craft. January 7th. Dressed in black formal kimono, all the geiko and maiko of Gion gather at a school for traditional arts. A ceremony where geiko and maiko gather to celebrate the start of a new year, shigeoshiki, in 2021, this was canceled because of the pandemic. The event is going ahead for the first time in two years. Ota Kimi, the proprietress of a long-established ochaya, will address the gathering. A leading figure in the community, she is determined the Miyako Odori will go ahead this year. Shinrin いや、負けられません。どうか An inspiring rallying call for the Gion community. This new year, Hanami Koji Street is a shadow of its former lively self. Ozashiki reservations are no more than 10% of a typical figure in a pre-pandemic year. This is Tomio, the ochaya run by Ota Takimi, who spoke at the New Year ceremony. No customer is admitted to Tomio without an introduction. Founded over 200 years ago, it is woven deep in the fabric of Gion life. Kimi is the eighth generation proprietress. Today, they will host their first large ozashiki in a long time and welcome back old customers who have been expressing concern about how Tomio is doing. Here for the Ozashiki is Maya, a Maiko who is currently apprenticing in the art of Gion hospitality. She's dropped an ornamental hairpin adorned with a little tiger, the traditional zodiac symbol for 2022. <laughs> Thank 
きにすみません。立てといたらどうこういう端に。木にゅかさん。木にゅかさん、すまい。すまちゃん、かけかけ。<laughs> Concerned, a senior gecko, Mao, takes a look. She lends Maya a tiger hairpin of her own. Maya looks up to Mao. Geiko are women who have completed their training as Maiko and are accomplished in their profession. This <laughs> 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 忘年会とか戻ってきて喜んでたらオミクロンでねまたちょっとキャンセルが出てきてるので今日もドキドキしてたんですけどまあなんとかまあみんな検査もしてね陰性やったのでこれからでもまた増えると思いますねキャンセルはねまた。The Ozashiki begins. After food and drinks are served, dances are performed. For privacy, the cameras stay outside. Mao is a popular geiko who has been working in Gion for 20 years. Before the pandemic, she was inundated with requests, working late into the night even on weekends. But two years ago, all that changed. 15歳で祇園町に出てきてからこんなに長いことお着物を着なかった日々もお稽古をしなかった日々もお遍路すしもううち何やってる人やったかなって思うのみんなあの芸妓さんも舞妓さんもそうやったと思いますけど生きていく上ですごく必要な職業じゃないんじゃないですかこうなんか衣食住とかあんまり関係ないです。なんか意味があるのかなってちょっと不安になったりとかすることもあったんですけど。When the pandemic started, there were even whispers that this might be the end for Gion. People began to pin their hopes on the Miyako Odori to breathe life back into Gion. The Miyako Odori began in 1872 as a way to revitalize Kyoto after it had lost its status as the nation's capital. Other than a break during World War II, the festival has been held in Gion every spring for over 150 years. All the Geiko and Maiko gather to present a dazzling spectacle.私らの毎日小さい時からずっとの年中行事でしたし春は都鳥っていう思ってましたしほんまにもう私らの宝物ですねほんまに宝物都鳥はしたいもう絶対したいコロナコロナ飛んだけと思ってんねいつも<笑> November 2021. Dance practice begins in preparation for the Miyako Odori. Anna, mono yutero toki ipe ni kite kudasai. 
どなして覚えるの都をどりおいぐるぐるはい前に乗っておいよっ All the dances in this part of Gion are in the Kyomai Inoue style. The Miyako Odori choreography is taught by the head of the Kyomai Inoue school, which has long upheld a Gion dance tradition. There is one challenging aspect of the Kyomai Inoue style that all the Maiko struggle with. A basic requirement of the Kyomai Inoue style is a low center of gravity. For that, the hips must be kept down. Without a strong core and lower body, it's very difficult to move elegantly. Some Maiko are struggling to master the basics. They're finding it difficult to move with their hips kept low. Yuzuha is a second year Maiko. The pandemic hit just after she started. She's never had the chance to perform in the Miyako Odori. <laughs> Until the Maiko and Gion are ready to work on their own as Geiko, they live together in lodgings called Okia. Tama is the Okia where Yuzuha lives. Here, they learn manners, language, and customs that are unique to Gion. <laughs> Yuzuha is from Osaka. Hoping to become a Maiko, she convinced her parents to let her move to Gion after completing junior high school. Although she's been in Gion for two years, she lacks proper experience. Not once has she performed at the Miyako Odori. And now, she has a junior Maiko to instruct. うん、うん、うん。<笑><笑> Yuzuha has only seen the Miyako Odori once. It was just when she had been accepted as a Maiko and was starting to train. Miyako Odori, I was looking at the the As the pandemic wore on, some of her companions lost hope.
仕込みさんの時からずっと一緒にやってきた仲間が辞めはるっていうのはすごい悲しいでしたねすごいあの時泣いたのを覚えてますすごいワンワン泣いてうちらの時もすごいみんな頑張ろうねって言うてたとこやったのでうんほんまもう悲しい寂しいしか思ってなかったんですねこれようするかおや。<笑>泣き虫の時もこの顔しゃんねよしゃる。中張っときもあるし、ね。えー、泣き虫なの。はい中張りまして、えー。もう手つけられへん。えー、そんなことない。<笑>中張った。うう<笑>うう<笑>って言わはるさかいな。おたけび。これだけせいせいとこれこれこんなんつつごめんなさい。The thought of performing in the Miyako Odori helped Yuzuha to stay motivated throughout the pandemic. Yapa Miyako Odori wa ee naa te. Te re tara ee naa to mo te. あと稽古頑張ってお姉さん方の足でまといにならへんように頑張ります。新型コロナウイルスの新たな感染者です合わせて4548人で大阪と京都で月曜としては最も多くなりましたえー、マンボウですって東京、埼玉、千葉、神奈川なんも京都もちょっとしたなんなまだなんぼでも原因やろうか Strict countermeasures were again being introduced What will become of the Miyako Odori? With the virus continuing to spread, Kimi and the others are facing a difficult decision. In mid February, They make a formal announcement. For the first time in three years, the Miyako Odori will go ahead. Their thinking is that the number of cases will not be as high in the spring. An unprecedented 60% of the Maiko will be performing for the first time. いわゆる都踊りの新人さんというのが一番多いのが本土の都踊りではないかと思うんです日々の経験というものがこの2年間は積み重ねられていないですから彼女たちの中での精神的基盤というものがあるのかないのかつまりは何がいいか何が悪く良くないかっていうことの前のことで言えばそういうことがわからないその前を舞うことの精神のあり方っていうんでしょうか心映えみたいなものその若さを誇らしく思えるように芸を磨いてほしいなと思っております The next day, the first time Maiko performers gather for special guidance 
they will be taught directly by the head of the Kyomai Inoue School. To prevent the spread of COVID-19, outsiders are strictly prohibited from entering. Filming is not permitted. <laughs> For Yuzuha, too, the biggest challenge has been to keep her hips low as she walks. It may be simply walking, but this form can be very difficult to master. The Miyako Odori starts with the entrance of the Geiko and Maiko. This is a highlight of the performance, and there's no room for error. めちゃくちゃ巻き過ぎないとわけではないかもしれないですけど、でもやっぱりそういう部分はありますね。絶対にやってやるって思ったらやり通したいですね。まあな、マイコちゃん中のな、お稽古があるからええね。そうですね。お
it is said that in the 1930s, nearly 1,000 Geiko and Maiko were working in Gion. That number has steadily declined and now stands at a little over 90. <laughs> At Tomio, on the first day of each month, Geiko and Maiko come to pay their respects. <laughs> Maya is the Maiko who Kimi helped by repairing a broken hairpin. Like Yuzuha, Maya is a second year Maiko. Each time they visit, they pray at a Buddhist altar commemorating all of Tomio's past proprietresses. Expressing gratitude is another important Gion custom. Maya, too, has never experienced the Miyako Odori. She was 14 when she decided she wanted to be a Maiko. たまたま芸妓さんを花見小路でお見かけしてすごい衝撃を受けてこんなにかっこいい女性がいるんやなと思ったのがきっかけです。一目惚れみたいな感じで絶対なりたいと思ったのがありました。Mao, a full-fledged geiko, looks after Maya. She's the one who lent Maya her tiger hairpin. お断りばかりでご飯食べられないでしょ。お母さん。毎日は毎日。お願いがありますね。そんなのもします。お母さんの助さん格さんやな。助さん格さん。いやらへんとあかんね。私の助さん格さん。毎日と言うな。When Maya became a Maiko. She exchanged an oath of sistership with Mao and received the first character of Mao's name as the first of her own. Tabo楽しませ方とか前の時の切り替えのかっこよさとかもすごい理想で少しでも姉さんみたいな稽古さんになれたらいいなって100年かけてもうちにはすごいもう理想すぎるので During the pandemic, when there were no uzashiki, Maya would practice dancing in her room. Kono. 
この間が難しくてちょっとほんのちょっとした間が揃わへんともうくちゃくちゃと見えるのでやっぱり普通の今の18歳とかに比べると好きなことを自由にはできひんと言いますか。それはないけどやっぱり目指してるところがあるので達成するまで絶対諦めたくないのでなんか顔だけ違うんだよねなんかチャイルドっぽいよねマオが思い出すと思い出すと思い出すと思い出すと下校さんなってすぐの都踊りの時にあのちょっと難しいお役をいただいておのおのねもうその症状っていうやつやったんですけどおきねさんたちの中に入れていただいてでもこの間まで舞妓さんやった境にその何にもできひんし舞台稽古でこけたりとかもう,もうそのお姉さんもうずっと怒られてたんですよ。もうもう下手くそって言ってもう何もできんってずっと言われて本番始まっても何も言ってもらえへんかったのにその選手楽の日に「よう決まったな」って言うてくれはってもう「もう」ってなってもう「よう決まったな」ってそう一言だけどうせもうニコリともせず言ってくれそやけど全部終わったら言うてあげようと思ってたんやって。見てくれはってもうそのお姉さんやめてしまわったんですけどもうおっきいおっきいお姉さんでそういうことをなんていうなんかこう、うん、積み重ねっていうかそう積み重ねて今のマオさん姉さんがいるんだなって思ったらうちも頑張ろうって思いますマヤちゃんもねきっとこれをまた思い出として語ってんね、はい、十何年後とかにね<笑>、はい都踊りの稽古の帰りにとかね、はい、Sometimes strict, sometimes kind The Miyako Odori sets a young Maiko on the path that was the making of her own treasured Geiko sister Dates back some 200 years. It is a respected ochaya that continues to uphold Gion's customs. The business has been passed down through the generations by women in the Ota family. Every year in March, Tomio observes a custom that has been upheld for many years. When the proprietress gives birth to a girl, she orders a special doll. This is my name. 10昭和15年度社の全部刺繍土社のねえ刺繍もいっぱい土社のこんな今やったらこんなんできしまへんな私が作ったんはやっとこれぐらいしかできませんでした
Kimi, too, once ordered a doll when her daughter Naomi was born. Naomi currently serves as her mother's assistant at Tomio. Each generation of dolls is displayed together with other dolls for the Hina Matsuri, or Girls' Festival. Tomio has observed its own strict set of rules since it was founded. They have been carefully maintained by each generation. Kimi was entrusted with the rules by her mother Fumi, the seventh generation proprietress. The firstborn girl must inherit the business of Tomio. Once she becomes proprietress, she must never marry. もう私はここの後継ぎやと思って育ちましたけどね。もう好きになったりしたらもうこの家燃えてくれとか思ったことあって。ここで燃えてくれと思ったことあったんですよ。そしたらほんまに燃えたね。びっくりして。もう蓋
ここが立つまでは<笑>生きてんなんとか思ってねこれが立ったらもうどうなってもいいけどなんとかもうね。Kimi raised the 7 billion yen needed for the project. The Kaburenjo Theater was built in 1912 as a venue for the Miyako Odori. Funds were provided by local people as they hoped the place would become a focus of the Gion community. These old wooden plaques were found during renovation work. They commemorated the building of the theater. On one of the plaques was the name of Kimi's great grandmother, Mio, who was involved in establishing the theater. <laughs> ね、私らの代人業も間違いなくなったらもう申し訳ないやんか、ご先祖に。私は家が、は続いてほしいと思いますし、時代へ続けるっていうことが私の一番のね、責任やと思うので。March 14th. With the Miyako Odori just two weeks away, the Maiko are practicing hard. <laughs> Filming is permitted at this all cast rehearsal, where the youngest Maiko will be dancing alongside their Geiko sisters. <laughs> Yuzuha and Maya, who became Maiko at the same time, have been spurring each other on. Will their many hours of practice pay off? This is where Yuzuha struggled, the entrance. Keeping her hips low, she walks steady and straight. And here comes Maya. They both enter gracefully. Including Yuzuha and Maya, 15 Maiko will be appearing in the Miyako Odori for the first time. The So Odori, featuring many dancers, is a famous highlight. Everyone's movement must match up perfectly. <laughs> A strong core and a flexible body. This is what the Kyomai Inoue style requires. <laughs> 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 
At the end of March, emergency measures are finally lifted. And spring comes to Kyoto. It's April 1st. The first Miyako Odori in three years. The venue is the Minamisa Theater, famous for kabuki performances. <laughs> At long last, Maya, Yuzuha, and all the other young Maiko who trained so hard during the pandemic will make their big performance debut. The audience, too, has been longing for this day. It's a full house. The cherished tradition of the Miyako Odori, the grand entrance of the Geiko and Maiko. Here is Yuzuha. She keeps her hips low for almost a minute. The So Odori is a performance tradition that the Geiko and Maiko of Gion have upheld for over 100 years. ずっと
祇園に生まれて祇園に育ったらへんでもほんまに祇園の人になっていかはりましたろ全部ねあのこれは不思議だすな。A dance performed by women who have chosen to live their lives in Gion. I was waiting for my mother to be the best of my mother. I was waiting for my mother to be the best of my mother. 自分の一番好きな自分になれるというか。新しいカブレン城でねさせていただきますしねそれまではなんか命持った方がなあかんと思ってます<笑>、うん、おめでとうございます,います,います As soon as the performance ends they rush off to an Ozashiki 暑い暑い<笑>緊張したんですけどやっぱり憧れの舞台やったので。やっと立てて嬉しいました。<笑>